Welcome back to MED, and today we've got loads of stuff down from the uh, stockroom. So, Steve, we're looking at crown wheel and pinions today. We are indeed. What have we got here? Why have we got so many down? <laughs> okay, we'll run you through what we've got. Okay, we'll start off with a standard Rover crown wheel and pinion. So, this is the crown wheel, the large one. Pinion's this one, and you'll see it's helical cut. So, basically, the teeth are on an angle. Okay, this one is a 3.76 that's denoted by the 1764 which is just so okay and if you divide the 17 into the 64 it will work out at 3.76 so that's your pinion on the left pinion would be the 17 yeah. and the crown wheel 64 okay let's say work it out okay okay so we keep so, these we've got a few few different types of these in the standard yeah style these are good for road cars no problem at all so these will fit directly onto either a standard differential, which is the single pin and the two climbing gears, or they will go onto the cross pin, which is this one, or they will fit onto the Quaife ATB, which is this one. They literally drop through like so, and then the six holes in here locate oh, on those six holes there. Yeah. As so per that's, standard. That's the Quaife, that's the crown wheel and pinion that it will fit on. Okay. Now, these are only available in limited ratios, so obviously just bear that in mind. But we do keep a range of these, they're on the website. I suppose so they're, they're fitted, you can find second hand ones in a wide variety of ratios. I would think there's plenty of second hand ones about, but yeah. uh, new ones, 3, 4, 3, 7, 3, 9, that's about your lot. Okay. Okay, moving on then, we then have these. Now these are a derivative of that one but you will notice that the teeth are now straight cut. Not only are they straight cut, but we've actually widened the tooth profile to give more strength. If I lay this one alongside, you will actually see the extra width. It's not great, but it all helps. Yeah. Okay. So, so what's yeah. the idea of going straight cut then? Is it um... takes less power out of the engine because it's a straight cut crown wheel and pinion, like straight cut gears, dog boxes, straight cut drop gears. They don't absorb power from the engine. There's no helix angle, so there's no thrust. Less side loadings on the gearbox exactly. casing as well. Exactly. So it's stronger. Now these ones on this side, you'll see the six different ones, six different ratios from three four up to four point five, and these again will fit. Standard differential single pin, cross pin, and quaif ATB. Again, literally straight through, drop down, and six bolts, it's in place. Got it. Okay, so that is your, what we call standard straight cut crown wheel and pinion. Got it. Is it a different material spec as well to the standard yes. one? What you've also got is, People say to us that the, that the pinions on straight cut pinions break because the root of the tooth runs very close to the root of the spline. Just to give these belt and braces, we've upgraded the steel to a VAR material, which is vacuum arc remelted. So it's a good quality steel, and then they remelt it and take some more of the impurities out, and that's what that's made of. We've been making these for what? Eight, ten years now, I've never seen one break. If anybody has, please send it back to me, I'd like to see it. Got it. Okay. And then, so, what are these ones at the end then? Okay, now we run over to what we call the LSD crown wheel and pinions. These are the same tooth on the outside. They're the same pinion. These are actually interchangeable, ratio to ratio. Got it. But this one's bored out, both here and here to fit onto an LSD. This is a 3J LSD that we have made. This one has the larger planet gears, the larger shafts, and the larger clutch plate kit in it. And as you'll see now, these actually go on the opposite way round. Quite awkward to get on <laughs> when you're trying to do it with one hand. Yeah. And they literally this is your full-on competition then. This is rally cars and race cars with exactly. slick tyres. And that literally slides up onto the diameter on the back, like so, and then six ARP bolts to bolt the crown wheel in. And it positions the pinion in the same place. The pinion goes on exactly the same, yeah. onto the end of the main shaft with the big nut on yeah. the end. And again, we do these in six different ratios. Yeah. 
to suit applications. So that brings us on to ratio. What ratio do I need? <laughs> We've got fitment. It's an impossible answer. There's no hard and fast ratio for everybody, except if you're running mini miglia, which it's restricted to the one that's specified in the regulations. It's three nine. Three nine three, I think you'll find it is. Got it. They even specify the count of teeth on the crown wheel and the pinion. Yep. So that's another thing. So what we keep here is 3.4 right up again to 4.5. Okay. And these can again be altered by your transfer gears. So if you've got a 3.9 and you wanted, let's say, a 3.99, you could juggle around, get closer to that. You can with off your drop gears. offset that, the drop gears. Exactly. Now, the lower the number, the higher it is. That's right. What you've got to appreciate is, imagine you want to get to 100 miles an hour, but you want, let's say, 100 miles an hour, 6,000 RPM. If you run a 3.4, and you can achieve that. So 3.4 final drive, 6,000 RPM, 100 mile an hour, but now you want to go faster on a top speed with the same RPM of the engine, you need to raise the final drive. But by raising the final drive, that means lowering the number. Yeah. So instead of a 3.4, you'd have to go down to a 3.2 or a 3.1. So it works opposite in effect. It works opposite to what you would think. Yeah. Now most of these are competition orientated. Like Steve said, we go from a 3.4, did you say the, the lowest? Yes, 3.4. Um, yeah. All the way up to a 4.5, four, five, which would be absolutely screaming. So how about a road car? Again, depends on the spec of the road car, whether it's 998, 1275, 1380, 1460. The higher the capacity of the engine, the, the smaller the number, crown wheel and pinion it will pull. Yeah. Okay, so it depends and again, on the torque. That and will all be relative to the size of the wheels and which camshaft you fit, because obviously, if the cam doesn't pull, come on cam to two and a half, three thousand RPM, it's no good having a very tall final drive, yeah. because then you will just put your foot on the accelerator. Accelerator, the car will try and accelerate. The final drive's too tall, and it will just stall. It'll be sluggish. Very sluggish. So it's always a compromise, isn't it, between a competition car and a and a road car? Yes. So. If you get stuck with any of this, give us a call and be able to kind of guide you through. We'll have a talk, see what we can help you with. Another thing that might be quite good is speak to your fellow competitors as well, if you're yep, com competing yep. with your Mini, um, and then see what everyone else uses with that particular cam, perhaps. That might that might be a good idea. I mean, just, just as a quickie, Mini Miglia on 10-inch wheels, 3.93, whereas most of the Mini 7s on 10-inch wheels are really 4.5, 4.7s. Yeah. So there's your variation. Depends on the, where the power band is with the cam as exactly. well. Exactly, and the power of the engine. Obviously, a Mini Miglia runs a lot more horsepower than a Mini 7. Yep. Therefore, they have to run a lower final drive. Got it. Okay, and we keep a wide range of these all on the website. So have a browse over to med-engineering.co.uk. You can have a look at all the final drives. And if you've got any more questions, let us know. Thanks for watching.